Hello everyone, and today we'll be taking a look and unboxing the Metarot Classics Plus the Advanced Edition. So this is a Nintendo Switch game, which is basically just ports of the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance Metabot games that were released in Japan. So there are two versions, the Kabuto version and the Kawagata version. So um, I know his name is Metabi in the English version. I don't remember, I think it's like Rokusho or something. I don't know, it's something edgy. But anyway, so I'll be taking a look at this. So I've not actually thought about Metabots in probably maybe two decades. And this is on the basis that I only started thinking about it again because of uh, the Meta Watch that recently came up for pre-order with the Metabot Dim. So I thought, hey, I, uh, I remember this franchise. I remember watching this anime. I wonder if the games are any good. So I guess I'm going to find out. So first of all, I'll take uh, these off, which I, judging by their weight, uh, I think they are magnets. So let's get rid of that tape. So it seems that these are each of the original Game Boy uh, cartridges, but in magnet form. So similar to the Pokemon Gold and Silver releases in Japan for the 3DS, where they were just the virtual console ones, but they came in a little box that was identical to the original, and instead of a cartridge, it came with the cartridge magnet, which I think was really cute. I have them on my fridge. And it was sort of laid out like a, like a Game Boy game, so that was kind of uh, it was kind of neat. So let's take a look at these magnets. I'm going to put them on the fridge, and my partner is going to be very, very confu confused about where these came from. So... As you can see, they are magnets. They stick together because they're magnets, as magnets do. So we've got the each of the games, and ah, uh, they're stuck together because yeah, magnets. And ah, uh, they're so stuck together. And then they've got the Game Boy Advance ones as well. And I'll put them somewhere where it won't mess up any electronics. And then we've got the other ones, which are the, uh, the Medibi ones, because that's the only name I remember in the show. I think there was a girl Metabot and her name was Roll. No, wait, no, that, that, that's Mega Man, isn't it? I have no idea. I don't remember her name at all. I know that she was pretty cool, and I, I, I need to rewatch this show. I wonder if Anime Lab has it. I don't think so. But it, it, I remember liking it, but I don't remember anything about it. I remember a web-based game, because it was the 90s, or the early 2000s, and everyone had a web-based game. So yeah, we've got the same sort of thing, but the Meta V versions of the, oh yeah, Kabuto versions of the same games, which uh, are included in this, So which we haven't even opened yet. So it's got a bit of a list of all the games that we just saw magnet versions of. So let's give this a bit of an open. Uh, I cut my nails this morning, so I'm not so good at the pulling apart of plastic. Bear with me, please. Oh, there we go. Free from its plastic fortress. There we go. So they're all one-player games, and you can use the Nintendo Switch Pro, Pro Controller. So, geez, this is really heavy. But, uh, yeah, so I had a bunch of stuff coming from, from Japan, and I thought that I may as well get this. So we'll take off the plastic cover or the paper plastic cover, and we'll take a look at the box. So, pretty nice box. Kind of like minimalist, which is kind of cool. Kind of looks like they've got like blueprints of the Metabots. And now I will try to take this off without having it all explode out everywhere. And it is, again, something that is almost too big for the light box. There we are. So, open that up. And we've got all the games in this nice sort of blueprint box. And these are the the Kabuto versions, the Meta B versions. And it's got a box art memorial plate. And kind of like the skeleton of a Metabot. So that's kind of cool. And it's got this all in a nice foam sort of container. Container, is that the right word? Casing. So I can pull those out. 
And these are all the memorial cases, memorial arts, which are kind of nice. Sort of just a plastic. They're a uh, showpiece, which is kind of cool. And you've also got the Kawagata versions there as well. So that's pretty cool. So again, they were all the same as what was on the magnet. What else is in this box? Oh gosh, it's closed again. There we are. And of course, the games in their usual Switch cases. And they're still in plastic, so yes, I will play them because they sound pretty good. I'm not sure about the level of Japanese. I would assume if it's anything like other games that are on the Game Boy, unfortunately there'd be no kanji, which is kind of a shame because I... Kanji is a great way to remember vocab. If you don't remember the vocabulary, usually the kanji is a little bit of a hint. So I like when a game has kanji because it actually helps me be able to read it. Like I've been mean, playing through the Digimon Wonderspawn games and they just don't have kanji, which is which is actually like pretty hard. Like I remember when I was first starting Japanese, I was just like, oh, well, I hate when games have kanji. Why can't they all just have hiragana and katakana? But no, that makes it really, really hard to read. Well, for me at least, it just because sometimes I just forget bits of vocab. I'm trying to get this open if you can't tell, and I'm struggling. And do have scissors, which are my handy scissors that I always keep on the side. I, I don't think there'll be anything inside these cases, but I just thought I'd check. Like sometimes there's some cute art or something. I very rarely, I mean, sometimes like stickers, but again, rarely. So I'm mainly just doing this just in case there's something exciting on the inside, but I would doubt it. So I've got the plastic off with my scissors. And uh, just cool art, again, sort of like the skeletons with some additional bits and bobs because that was the cool thing about Metabots, you could kind of mod them and put things on them. I'm just assuming that that's what that is, and we may as well give the Kabuto version, no not Kabuto, uh, yes Kabuto. But yeah, I would. I, I really should watch this, rewatch this show. Like, I remember absolutely adoring it as a kid, but I don't remember anything about it except for Meta B. That's all I remember. I don't remember any of the characters' names, but knowing like dubs from like the late '90s and early 2000s, he's probably got a name like Tyson or something. Like, just a very unusual name. And then we have the Kabuto version on the inside. Actually, Tyson was a dub anime character's name, wasn't it? It was like, was Beyblade? I think so. And do we have anything else inside here? Yes, we do. We have this bit of cardboard. How exciting. And underneath the exciting cardboard is a book. So it's got the soundtracks. Well, it's a book, but it's book in shape. So we open that up and it's got soundtracks from the game, which is kind of cool. So I can listen to the music in the game when I'm not playing the game. So we'll just pop that back in there. So that's pretty cool. Surprisingly no art book. Usually I, whenever I get an advanced thing they come with an art book, but that doesn't matter because I've got these cool magnets which I'm absolutely a huge fan of and these these are pretty cool too, to be honest. So yeah, I now I have done this video that means I can actually play these games. Like I've been kind of looking at this since it arrived going I should play these games, but then I was like, no, I have to uh, have to open them for people because it's just a little bit. It's it's the the unboxing experience is an exciting one, and it's nice to be able to share it with people. And I think I put that the wrong way around, so I'm going to put that back in its little box. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go play those games, I guess. So thanks for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.